at last, guys. Bandits receive water water. <laughs> See what fearless villagers did to notorious bandits in Plato that shot everyone. I think this is the next thing Nigerians should be doing. Enough of this fear fear. You know, saying I made them feel they get this or that city. They attack. They attack Nigerians. After all, Nigerian government don't talk and say, we don't get the right to carry weapons. And they don't see, they don't hear. They understand. So now I made they get that, uh, that mind. They do it, then they do. The audacity, when they just, it would just open, you know, fire in a, a whole community like this. They understand. Because they know that nobody will challenge them. And, Funny enough, all these things will be going on. Like ours, you know, go hear one police say they did. They go say sometimes when these things they happen, like after or two days, night police go come around the place. And the next thing when they go do, they begin to arrest people when they <laughs> when they that place. So and they understand say they rip people when they that and they don't enter bush. Well, Nigerians, this will shock you. Nigerians are beginning to understand that. If they wait for these people, they go finish them. So they don't see and say maybe not to fight for themselves. So eh, hey, because life not only one a day. You know, say some majority of Nigerians don't they talk and tete. Okay? And eh, Danjuma don't talk and say the only thing can save Nigerians from this wahala when they grant is for Nigerians to, you know, uh arm themselves and defend themselves. Even middle bed forum, they don't talk and you know, when the CDS come talk, say no, that will lead to anarchy. They should leave the wahala for the Nigerian security, you know, to handle. You understand? Make we just leave that one by the side. Make we see waiting these villagers did to this bandit this time around. My people, this will go shock you. Now, this one will tell the stand, say, you get as you go take push person, enter inside toilet. Eh? That door. Now, two of now go break them because you know, say toilets not be a pleasant place to stay. And that's just what is going on now in the northern part of the country. People are beginning to see themselves, you know, fighting themselves out from this problem when then they right now. Make we hit the news. But before then, guys, if you're just joining us for the first time, I beg, subscribe, subscribe now, please. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you for stopping by. May God bless you all. The assassin riding on motorcycles targeted Butura village in the Bukokris local government area. A location still reeling from the tragedy of over 200 lives lost during a merciless massacre around the Christmas Eve period in 2023. According to reports from Citizens Observer, a Resilience vigilant, Vigilante Group, established by the community, played a critical role in repelling the bandits on slot. The group's formation, in response to previous attacks, demonstrates the locals' determination to safeguard their lives and protect their land. The tweet emphasized the need for communities in the Middle Belt to arm themselves and take a stand against terrorism. Early this morning, while the world's attention was on the bomb explosion in Ibadan, the Fulani terrorists went for an attack on Butara, a village in Bukurus, the place where they killed over 200 Christians on Christmas Eve, but met a formidable resistance from the locals. The tweet encourages the people to organize and defend their land actively, urging them to identify and dismantle terrorist hideout within their localities. It alleges that these attackers are shaded by the government, implying complicity in their actions. Constantly, the Plateau State Police Command provided a different account of the incident. The spokesperson, Alfred Alabo, insisted that it was the police, not the local resident, who repaired the bandits. He acknowledged a disturbance in the area, but emphasized the importance of gathering accurate information before making official statements. Yes, there was a little disturbance there which our men repaired, and they repaired dutifully. 
Yet, we are still gathering some fat. We want to do that before approaching the media so that we don't give them wrong information. There is a lot of fake information going on there, he said. Meanwhile, in a brazen display of audacity, the, the border community of Garam, nested between Niger State and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, found itself under siege as a horde of over a hundred terrorists on motorcycles invaded the village in broad daylight, armed with AK-47 rifles, sword and arrows. The assassin cloud in military, a uh, camouflage and combat trousers struck terror into the hearts of residents. The harrowing incident unfolded on a Monday afternoon when more than 50, 40 motorcycles, each carrying three armed individuals, rode into the village. High witnesses described the scene of the chaos as the invaders openly brandished their weapons, causing panic among the residents who fled for their lives, grappling with the uncertainty of the unfolding situation. Nigerians, there is fire on the mountain. How are we going to be free from this? Nigerian, Nigerian uh, uh, government should do their best to end this. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.